All right, we made it to another final table. Uh, first one in about a week and a half or so. It's the same 500 guaranteed hyper turnable tournament. It's a $7 buy-in. So if you watch my other videos, um, first place is typically around 161 bucks. And I think that's the same for this too. Let's check the lobby. There's the payout, 161 for first, 123, 90, 66, 46, blah, blah, blah. So I am in fifth place, currently in middle position here with a raise in front of me from a guy who's a little higher chip stack from me with a king four suited. It's going to fold it. No pressure here to act. Um, you know, we got a call, we got two very small chip stacks at the table, so we want this guy to bonk out, and we got this guy over here with 2,000. So, the more we can narrow this down from 10 players down to, well, it's at 9 players, we narrow it down to 7 and to 6, then maybe we can like start making some really big moves, some risky moves, if we're in position. If we're in late position is when we want to really pull the trigger. Got a pair of sevens here. I got one, two, three, four players to act in front of me. I'm just going to call. I'm just going to flat call here. Not get too fancy. Because either one of these guys could ship it. Any of these guys up here can ship all their chips. And if they do, I'm just going to fold. You know, no big deal. Let's assume... These guys call and we're all trying to bonk these guys out. You know, I could flop a set here. Naturally, I could have raised, but I'm just going to call there. I don't want to risk too much chips. Not when there's still nine of us left, you know. Well, that guy folded. That's an interesting fold right there. So he's playing to just try and fold his way up. So this guy could raise me here. If he wants to try and take the pot, he doesn't. I'm going to bet another 5,000 just because I have a starting pair. And I bet it really quick because I want them all to know that I'm not fucking around here. Wow, he raised me. Interesting. So, you know, I got to assume he has either a flush draw or he flopped the, the top pair with the queens. See, by me just calling in that, those positions there, I kind of regret my, my $5,000 bet there because I'm going to lose $10,000 on this hand because I'm definitely going to fold. Um, there's still time for me to recover from this nightmare. So he flopped middle pair. Wow, this guy had sevens too. Interesting, interesting. So, you know, one thing to learn from that hand is I didn't risk all of my chips. I didn't go crazy with my pocket sevens. I was in middle position. I had a lot of players act in, in behind me. I'm just gonna fold that uh, that suited connectors there. Cause you know, my guaranteed prize right now is $20. This is a $7 buy-in. As you see in my other videos, my only goal is to finish in the top three. So you're gonna see me take a, a pretty Risky move once I'm in position here. You know, it's going to be tough for me to get in position anytime soon, but. You know, hopefully this guy will bonk out here. The queen will win the queen jack. And then we're down to seven players. Which is great, you know. Now I end up with the pocket kings here. I'm not going to fuck around with them. I'm just going to ship them. I'm not going to get into millions of reasons why. I'd much rather see everyone fold than somebody call me with some ace queen or ace jack. Like this guy here. You know. I want them to know that I have either aces or kings. I just want to take the 7500 in profits. If this guy calls me here... You know, with queens or jacks, then fine. So he's got an ace-ten. 
So I risk it here. If he gets an ace, I'm out of the tournament. Hopefully he won't. All right. It's big. It's big. That puts us uh, in a great, great position. So I'm actually surprised he called there. He obviously didn't put me on kings. Or he's just inexperienced. I don't know. For me to ship all in under the gun like I did. Right off the button there. He's got to assume I have a huge starting hand. Just going to fold this. This guy's high chip stack at the table. There's no reason for me to stay involved in that hand. This guy's probably going to bonk out. This jack eight's probably going to win. But he's getting beat as of right now. Uh, that's not good for us. Ace 10 is always tricky. Um... You know, I got an all-in in front of me, which would knock me out of a tournament, so obviously I'm going to fold. You know, I'm in fourth place right now out of seven players. We got two super small stacks right here, 6,000 and 9,000. So just kind of be a little patient right here and ride it out. Let somebody make a mistake, as you've seen from my other videos. Let somebody make a mistake. King Queen against 10 Jack. We got Queen flop high in the hand. And he's out of the. T he's out! We're down to six players. I'm in great position to win the tournament. Now, this guy's got huge chips here, though. 124,000. So I'm in fourth place. I'm not going to do much with the Queen Six here. I could ship it, bluff it, but I'm not. I'd rather see this guy bonk out first out of the tournament and minimally finish in the top five. This guy's only got 5,000 chips, too, so. Yeah, I'm in fourth place. You know, the payouts go, are going up real quick here right now. Between the fourth and fifth places, you're going 20, 30 bucks with each place. So if I can ride this out for a few minutes here. Um, this is a good shoving hand in this position, king five suited. Um, I'm a little nervous about it though. I'd still rather wait to see this guy bonk out. I'm not gonna do much with it. I'm just gonna fold that. I am in position now to you know do a big bluff all in, but I'm gonna ride this out for a little bit. I want to see Morgan bonk out of this tournament. Because that's going to make me 20 bucks right there. Now, if I had something, you know, big to shove, you know, obviously I would. But I don't. Five nine. I'm just going to fold here. I'm out of position. All right. Let's see this jack seven win. He got the flop. He's going to win this hand. Now we're down to... Oh, they split the pot. That did not work out well for us. There's still six players. Um, ah, it's a sticky situation right here. Because if I fold, you know, it sucks. I have to fold, though, simply because of the position. I got to assume he's got an ace here. I got a king seven offsuit. It's a shitty situation. And I just gotta fold it. This I will probably ship. So, you know, I'm in a bad position here. Ace four is usually going up against ace high or something. But I'm in position to ship. I'm gonna ship all in. I'm gonna call this. Assuming he has an. I got a chance here if I could pull an ace or two hearts. Let's see an ace. Nope. How did I win that hand? I don't even know how I won that hand, so we're going to have to watch that again. <laughs> My eyes are blurry, and uh, maybe I won the side pot or something. Um, I don't have my glasses on, which you may laugh about. I'm just going to fold that with this guy all up with two other players to act behind me. I'm out of position to call right there. We're down to five players. 
However, I won that last hand. Well, let's go see it. Let's do a replay. I had ace four. He had a pair of fives. So I won with a pair of eights and queens high with the ace high kicker. That's how I won it. All right. That'll work. Makes sense to me. <laughs> I didn't see it right away. So we're in a good position to win this tournament. Um, you know, we're essentially tied for, well, we're in fourth place, but second place is right above us. We're going to start to play pretty aggressive here as we get into position. I'm going to shove, broaden our range, and extend it out. Definitely shoving this. I like the position here. Putting the pressure on the other players to call. I got a king queen. He's got ace 10. It's going to be really close here. I need a king or a queen. Nope, didn't get it. I do not regret that, that shove right there. I really liked my position. I liked having the king queen. And I finished in fourth place. So we turned $7 into 66. Not going to complain and bitch about that. Let's watch the rest of this tournament here. See what these guys do. Wow, they're already down to two players really quick. Oh, hey man, I'm glad I shoved there. King, queen up against the ace, ten. I was in position to shove. So, 